The following contest is an Iron Man match. On the way to the ring, from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 225 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. And the opponent, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 234 pounds, Brett Hitman Hart. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Cole and JBL here at ringside welcoming you to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hey, I got top billing tonight. I like it. Keep it up. Well, what can I say? These Minneapolis fans have got me in such a great mood. I'm feeling especially generous tonight. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, and he's feeding off that energy right now. Come on. Let's show it off. This is a wrestling match, not a popularity con. I think he's going to fly. Look at this. Pandering to the crowd. He's going for the pin. He's tuning up. And there he goes. Sweet chin. When you talk about a man who's done it all in this business, you don't have to look any further than the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Yeah, Michaels has been in this business a long, long time, and I'm not surprised he's stuck with Raw. I doubt he could keep up with some of the younger <coughs> SmackDown talent. You're not seriously suggesting that HBK couldn't be competitive on SmackDown. No disrespect to the SmackDown superstars, but this is Shawn Michaels we're talking about. All I'm saying is that ever since Raw and SmackDown have been separate brands, we haven't seen much of Michaels on SmackDown. You take that any way you One, want. Two. It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds. Yeah. He's going for the pin. Seeing a match like this makes me proud. He's three seconds away from victory. Red Hart calls himself excellence of execution, and it's not hard to see. 
There's the cover. Can he do it? I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to get him a bad side of at least one superstar. His opponent is out of it. He's tuning up the band. Sweet chin music. That's guaranteed to take the fight right out of you. He could pin his opponent One, right here. Two, three. These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes, too. No. There's the pin! Can his opponent kick out? <coughs> what the? Th that's his opponent's finishing maneuver! Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars. And even they wind up seriously injured. So Here's the pin. He may get the three count right here. Talk about that takes some serious skill to execute your opponent's signature move like that. Mike, this superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, one mistake, and we're gonna see that fire. He's adding insult to injury by using that move against his opponent. The Hart family is a legendary name in the sports entertainment business, and Bret Hart is a legend among legends. And these fans are getting a real treat, watching the Hitman in action tonight. They're not the only ones. I could watch Bret Hart compete every night of the week. I love hearing a crowd come out, even if I disagree with what they're saying. Me too, and I do agree with what they're saying. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, but if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Wow. On the mat, shoulders down. This could be it. <laughs> It's crazy to think that we actually get paid to do a job. His opponent might not have enough left Two, to kick out. Three. You take one look at Bret Hart, and it's not hard to see why he's a WWE Hall of Famer. I'll put it this way, partner. If Bret Hart doesn't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, nobody does. This match proves without a doubt why SmackDown's the dominant brand in sports entertainment. I can't help but agree, partner. You won't see action like this on Raw. Even if you did, you'd have to hear about puppies and government mules and scalded dogs. It's like a zoo over there. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive! This is what they came to see! Hey, try to strain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this down the middle. I hope this isn't the last time we... Look at that! That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You gotta watch out for your opponent when... Yeah, that's just great. Why don't you just quit showing off and get down to business? He is getting down to business. He's in the sports entertainment business, isn't he?
These superstars have proven time and again that they're willing and able to go the distance. Well, you don't get too far in this business if you're not. That's for sure, partner. There's always someone... He just stole his opponent's signature move. That takes guts. These superstars have been given it everything they've got all night. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. Yeah, you're not going to win a match if you're blown up two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won. You can find all sorts of weapons under that ring. There isn't an out. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Red Hart calls himself the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. He's going for the cover. Two. I know I say this a lot, but it ain't ballet. You step between those ropes, you better be prepared to take... Instead of pandering to the fans, you should really keep your head in the match. Now there's a superstar with guts. These top rope moves, though, are high risk. This could be three right here. Superstars are on fire tonight. They sure are, and I don't think they're going to be put out anytime soon. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. And here's the cover. Even if you wind up winning a match like this, you're going to be... There's the cover. We've seen some pretty good matches before here, but you don't see too many matches end that way. No, you don't. And I think we'll see one superstar dominate the match before it's over. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match. He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd. That's a huge distraction in my opinion. Here it is. He's building up ahead of steam and he's about to let his opponent have it. He's got him covered. One, two. I've got to admit it, I'm impressed by the superstars' performance here tonight. We were expecting a solid match from these superstars, but this is even better than I'd hoped. This capacity crowd is certainly getting its money's worth here tonight. And it's a good place to not buy tickets and not get the paychecks. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about selling tickets the next time we come back here. Not after a match like this. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can't. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. So, have you got any predictions about who's going to win this one? No way. I've seen you embarrass yourself with enough bad guesses that I'm not going to risk doing the same. Look at these superstars go. It's obvious that they've done their homework on each other. That's for sure. This match might have been over by now if they had. 90% of a match is in the preparation. You got to come in ready for that. He could get the pin right One, here. Two. Oh, 
Oh, man. I don't envy that referee. The last place I'd want to be is between these two superstars. You can say that again. Talk about hazardous to your health. This one's going to keep going until someone can't go anymore. And considering the conditioning of these athletes, that could be quite a while from now. I've been looking for... He wasted no time going for that pin. This one could still go either way. It sure could. It's not over until the referee calls for the bell. These superstars are at the top of their game, but only one of them is going to have his hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. So what? Do you want to say that everybody wins? Everybody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. Wow, did you see that? He's been busted wide open. After that last shot, I'm not surprised. I hope the referee doesn't let this go on too much longer. What are you, nuts? The match is getting good now. This match is so... Here's the pin. This could One, be it. Two. We're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight. I'm all for freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. The key to winning a match like this is to build momentum. You're not going to see a match won with just one or two moves. No, but one or two big moves at a crucial point could change the direction of it completely. These superstars are putting on a clinic. Yeah, and not a health threat. I don't think they're gonna save it for this one. And there's the pin! One, two. I cannot remember the last time I've seen a crowd this pumped up. I know what you mean, Parker. These superstars have This is stupid. Why is he risking everything by going up there? He's going for the pin! This One, could be it! Two. As long as these superstars have got anything left in the tank, they'll keep going at it. They certainly don't look like they're going to give anything less than 100% here tonight. Anyone who thinks this business is a piece of cake can get into the ring with these superstars. I don't think anyone would last too long against them. One, these are trained two. WWE professionals. These fans have got something they want to share with us. That's their right. They paid for their tickets after all. Oh. Wow. I almost feel bad for JR and the King. When's the last time you think they saw a match this good? I couldn't tell you. I don't know if they've ever had anything this good on Raw. Well, that just makes sense. After all, SmackDown is the number one match in all of sports entertainment. And that's one of the few things we completely agree on, partner. It doesn't get any bigger or better one, than SmackDown. Two. I don't know if this is such a good move. This could be disastrous. One, two. What a match. I've got no idea what these superstars are going to do next. That makes two of us, partner. And I think that's one of the things that makes it so exciting. You got to be careful when you're going up there. Look. All the WWE superstars are tough human beings, but these competitors tonight are really raising the bar. They sure are. We're seeing some great intensity here tonight. And that's the name of the game, intensity. You gotta stay on your opponent till one of you cannot go anymore. 
These superstars are well aware of that, and that's exactly what they've got in mind. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. Five, this business is as two, psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponents think you're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy One, pickings, no two, matter how beaten up they get. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. You know, if you let me train you, you could be cruiserweight champ inside a year. Oh no, I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Are you surprised? They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. Top rope moves can win or lose you the match. There's very little middle ground. Man, I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, partner. But it's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever way it goes, no one can say that these superstars didn't give it everything they got. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect? These are WWE... Oh boy, I think the referee is out of it. They gotta start getting sturdier refs. This kind of thing seems to happen a lot. This sellout crowd just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also... I've said it before and I'll say it again. Nothing costs you a match quicker than overconfidence. What are you talking about? I see a dominant superstar who's rallying this capacity crowd behind him. This is just dumb. You don't win a match by taunting your opponent to death. I disagree. Getting the crowd on your side can be a huge psychological boost. The refs got a tough job trying to keep these superstars. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. No superstar in the locker room can afford to ignore the WWE fans. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That's not necessarily the case. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it Five, always ends the two, match. You sound three. like you're speaking from experience. That's ridiculous. When I hit someone with the clothes on from hell, they stay down, period. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective. I respect superstars who show some sportsmanship in the ring. Spoken like somebody who's never been in a match, Michael. If you're putting your body on the line in there, you got to do whatever it takes to protect yourself and pick up the win. You're talking to me. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. These superstars are clearly giving it their all tonight. No surprises there. When's the last time you saw a WWE superstar go halfway? I don't think I ever have. If they did, they wouldn't last long around here. Victory means absolutely everything to these competitors tonight. Now He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is. What do you think the highlight of it has been so far? 
Well, that'll probably come a little later in the match when you shut your yap for a few... This could be big, but it could backfire. You don't see action like this every day. You sure don't. And we've got the best seats in the house. We sure do. Front and center. We couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. Whoa, that's your territory, partner, not mine. I'm perfectly happy to stay right where I am. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. Yeah, the WWE fans aren't known for keeping their opinions to themselves. If you ever wonder just how much punishment a human being can take, I think you're going to get your... I think someone's been taking flying lessons. I tell you... This is what WWE is all about. Absolutely right. The greatest athletes in the world competing on the grandest stage of them all. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't going to hold anything back, and you can't afford to either. I'd love to know you're coming up with this stuff, because it sure ain't from personal experience. I gotta say, I didn't expect these superstars to go after each other the way they have tonight. This has been a brutal match so far. Well, it's not ballet, you know. Oh, really? I was wondering what happened to Tony Tony Shoes and Frilly Little. I checked your closet, but I'd have to wait for you to One, come out first. Two, three. These superstars are beating the living hell out of each other, and this crowd's eating it up. It's what they came to see, and these superstars are making sure they don't go home disappointed. So much can go wrong from that top turnbuckle. Folks will be staying with this match to the end with no commercial interruption. Good thing, I don't think we'd hear something that would cut away here. You're probably right. I know I wouldn't want to miss a second of this action. Oh man, these WWE fans are fired up. They sure are, and you know that's going to have an effect on this match. I think I got a pretty good idea of who's going to win this one. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Well, I think we know which way this one's going to go. Actually, from my perspective, I think it could still go either way. And what perspective would that be? The perspective of somebody who's never actually been in a match? This has been a barn burner of a match so far. It has indeed. But I think this crowd is waiting to see one or two really big moves. Yeah, but going for those two quickly is the best way to lose a match. Blood, sweat, and tears shit. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. I don't think there's going to be anything left of these superstars by the time this is over. You might be right. They are so focused on victory that they don't care what they're going to do it again. You can imagine the tension between the competitors right now. Well, you could if you had ever actually been in a match. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off of these superstars. Trust me, when it comes down to you or them, it's a whole different level of intensity. I'll have to take your word for it. I honestly can't imagine a more electric atmosphere than the one in this arena right now.
This is one hell of a performance by some amazing superstar. What did you expect? They're from SmackDown after all. Night after night, the WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing. I don't even like to think about where we'd be if they did. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this match, that's for sure. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. You can't let that break your focus, but that's easier said than done. I've seen matches won and lost because of moves like this. I think things might quiet down a little here soon. Or we might just be heading into the calm before the storm. Boy, this is not the way I thought this match was going to go at all. And that's what makes the WWE so exciting. The unpredictability of the superstars. You never quite know exactly what you're going to see. You look at any other sport in the world and you won't find a single athlete that can compare with the WWE superstars. And there's a reason for that. There are no off-seasons in WWE. These superstars perform every week of the year. And we're not just talking about swinging a bat or kicking a ball. WWE is the most physical... Con I don't know. He's putting a lot on the line going up there. These superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. I don't think you're going to be able to just sit back and enjoy the ride. And what a wild ride it's been so far with no signs of stopping anytime soon. Conditioning is a huge factor in any match. If you can't go the distance, there's no way you're going to win. That's for sure. And the WWE superstars are some of the best conditioned athletes in the world. Wow, listen to that chant. The crowd makes a huge difference, whether they're for you or against you. These superstars are pounding the hell out of each other. How much longer can they keep this up? I don't know, but you can bet that it's going to get a lot worse before it's over. going easy on each other tonight. They sure are giving the fans their money's worth. One, I just two, hope the WWE three. fans appreciate it. These superstars put their bodies on the line night after night. And the WWE fans sell out these arenas night after night. Sounds like they appreciate it to me. Here's your winner, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels.
The following contest is a Hell in the Cell match. On the way to the ring, from Death Valley, weighing in at 305 pounds, The Undertaker. And the opponent, from Long Island, New York, Mick Foley. A big New England welcome from Portland, Maine. This is good old JR Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. I've never seen a crowd so fired up, JR. They can't wait to get started, and neither can I. That makes two of us, King. I don't think Portland's gonna know what hit it after tonight. Look at this! Look at this! You talk about a house of fire, you're seeing it right here! Yeah? Well, somebody better put out that fire, or this one's not gonna... He must be looking for a weapon of some kind. If I live to be a hundred, I'll never understand why they leave so many damn weapons under the ring. And there's a little something for the crowd. The best superstars never ignore their fans. The best superstars also finish off their opponents instead of giving them time to recover. This match is going to continue until someone's completely debilitated. And considering the resiliency... Oh my gosh! He's thrown off the cell! That's a long and painful trip! I'm not sure I agree with what the crowd is chanting, JR, but I guess it's their right. You're damn right it is. It comes with the price of admission. You know, JR, everyone goes on and on about how great The Undertaker is, but I think he's overrated. It takes more than black lights and some dry ice to impress me. How about a perfect run? Oh God! That foreign object is certainly being put to good use. It sure is. Ugh. I wonder... My God! Would you look at the power of this superstar? Here we go! Tombstone Piledriver! He could... 
pin him right here, JR! Every time you get into the ring with Mick Foley, you're taking your life in your own hands. Mick built his legacy by destroying some of the biggest names in the business. In WCW, in ECW, and of course, right here in the WWE. And every story you've ever heard about him is true. And half of them are even worse than you think. Oh man, it's a long way down from the top of the saddle. Wow, listen to these fans, JR. You can fool some of the people all of the time, and all the people some of the time, but there's no fooling the WWE fans at all. So, how do you think this one's gonna turn out, JR? Honestly, King, I have absolutely no idea. Anything can happen here in the WWE. But you've got to have a guess, right? I might, but I'd rather keep it to myself if it's all the same to you, King. He's all fired up now, King, and I'd hate to be on the receiving end. I don't think his opponent's got a hope of hurting him now. Oh, man. Don't tell me he's about to do what I think he's about to do. Tombstone Pound Driver! My God, what an impact! Here's the cover, JR! One. I don't think these superstars oh. have any intention of oh. taking it easy on each other tonight. That's not what they signed up for, King. And quite frankly, I think these fans would be disappointed if they didn't go all out. Well, that's How the hell do you learn to fall from a 30-foot cell? Oh, no! I don't like the looks of this! He's got the fans behind him, King, and his opponent had better watch out! This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight! They sure are, JR, and I love to hear it! I think it's pretty obvious which way this one's gonna go, JR. Well, from my perspective, this is still anybody's match. I'd like to see things from your perspective, JR, but I'd have to get my head out of my rear end first. And Lord knows it's been up there for so long that that would be no easy thing. Can you believe we actually get paid to do this job, JR? It's like a dream come true, King. Except when I have to sit here and listen to you drool over the divas. Come on, JR. You know I'm helpless when it comes to puppies. Oh, I know, King. And that's why I'm bringing a pitcher of ice water out here with me next time. Ugh. This has gone beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love Ugh. lost between these competitors, that's for sure. If looks could kill, somebody Ugh. would be pushing up daisies right now. And you've got to admit, that makes for a much more interesting match, JR. It sure does. But I just hope these superstars can settle their differences uh. in the ring and leave it at that. He reversed it! Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's gonna go. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an ex... That's a 30-foot drop! That's a career ender right there! Listen to the crowd, JR! I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are out of a job. I talked to these superstars backstage before the match, and I don't think I've ever seen competitors so ready to get it on! And that's coming through loud and clear here tonight in this match. They're not taking it easy on each other either. It's been said a million times, but I'll say it again. This isn't ballet. Ruthless aggression is the name of the game. These superstars are in terrific shape, and that comes as no surprise whatsoever. No kidding. If you don't have that conditioning, you're not going to last long in a match. You sure aren't. And that's only one of the many reasons I try to stay out of the ring whenever possible. Oh, sure. Now the fans start to cheer for him. Now that he's in the driver's seat, 
Come on, King. He's had the crowd behind him all match. And these fans love confidence in their superstars. And that's just what they're seeing from him here tonight. Well, he can do this until the cows come home. But that's not going to win him the match. After some of the things we've seen in this ring, JR, I think we'd better remind the folks at home not to try this stuff themselves. That's for damn sure, King. The WWE superstars are trained professionals. And even they don't walk away from every match in the best shape. They sure don't. We've seen more than one superstar taken out of here on a stretcher. I think these superstars have a legitimate beef with each other, JR. So do I, King. I'm not so sure their issues with each other are going to be solved with one match. Oh, I'd love to see him go at it again and again. And now pin! This could be it! I don't think that these superstars have even contemplated the fact that they might lose. I'm sure they have. That's not the kind of attitude you come in with and expect to pick up the win. You're right about that, JR. You can't see yourself having your arm raised by the referee when it's over. Don't bother showing up. Oh, man! Fine. That's not the way you want to return to the ring. Great. I think this crowd has decided to exercise the right of free speech. God bless the first of... Here's your winner, The Undertaker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And the opponent, from Miami, Florida, weighing 275 pounds, The Rock!
This sold out crowd is on its feet tonight here in St. Louis, Missouri. These fans are so excited, I'm having a hard time staying in my own seat myself. I'm with you on that part. We've got a great show here tonight for these St. Louis fans, and I can't wait to get started. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along. Kick in the gut. Here it comes. Stutter! Stutter! been on the receiving end of a... He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly... Oh, no. The referee is down. What's going to happen now? Anything and everything. No ref means no rules. Talk about a guy who's done it all in this business. The Rock's a seven-time champion. Seven times. And if I'm doing the math correctly, that's six times more than you, right? Apples and oranges. Don't confuse quantity with quality. Man, you just can't... Look out! Here it comes! Stunner! He could take your head clean off the map. Instead of pandering to the fans, you should really keep your head in the match. Come on! You gotta be careful when you're going up there. Hey! Try to straighten yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this down the middle. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle. An injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponents think Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. Yeah, that's just great. Why don't you just quit showing off and get down to business? He is getting down to business. He's in the sports entertainment business, isn't he? These fans have got something they want to share with us. That's their right. They paid for their tickets after all. These superstars are at the top of their game, but only one of them is going to have his hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. So what? You want to say that everybody wins so that nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars are blowing me. He's going for the pin. One, two, three. I think we might be looking at the... Here's your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin.